because I'm B. What it do, y'all? So I woke up with an epiphany last night. I went to sleep, disgusted, broken down, feeling unvalidated, feeling just cried my eyes out. Person just nonchalantly just threw my feelings to the side. It's always. And I'm like, I'm not living my life. God said, you're not living your life. You have to stop trying to look out for people. Do what you're going to do. Stop discussing your feelings and emotions with anybody. Stop talking and complaining because guess what? The talking and the complaining is not helping you change it. If you feel like you sat, do something about the sat. Or be comfortable within yourself. Either or. Either or. Two, you want a better living situation. Keep striving on what you need to do. Never stop thinking of a way to make your life better. As long as you're not selling your soul, baby. As long as you're not selling your body or doing nothing to harm somebody else. Keep the grind until you find something that works for you. You know what I'm saying? Also, set a goal. So my goal is just to read a book and exercise this week. That's my own goal. That's my only goal. And I'm not telling nobody my goal. I'm not discussing it. I'm not asking it. I'm not saying I love you. I'm not expressing any more emotional emotions toward anybody. That's not emotional to me. And that's my Saturday epiphany. Every day I wake up, clean up, well, watch my face, brush my teeth, take a bath, do, um, see my children, clean up the house, go to sleep, mad, good, disgusting. The next day, clean up, do whatever I need to do, go, you know, work, go back to bed, broken, disgusting, and confused. Every day, I am not happy. I sit in this house and I hide like I'm ashamed of myself. If somebody is ashamed of me, fuck them. Excuse my mind, but fuck it. Don't, don't tell the devil that I want to do something. Because the devil don't want it to happen. The devil don't want you outside. The devil don't want you to do nothing in the house of prayer. So stop expressing yourself. So I won't be expressing myself. I'm not going to let you know how to hurt me. I'm not going to let you know how to manipulate me. I'm not going to let you know what's going on in my head. Sometimes things are better. Some things are worse. People, family, and friends around you, sometimes they mean good for you, but they just ain't good for you. It's up with that. So, I get a piece of paper for my good thing. I woke up with a sad epiphany. I woke up with a sad uh, epiphany, baby. So, what did you wake up feeling this morning? I'm going to come back periodically. I got heartburn. I couldn't eat no corn starch this morning. I can't even drink my coffee because I got heartburn this morning. I really got uh, heartburn this morning when I uh, when I woke up. I got real bad uh, heartburn, y'all. So I think if I ate too much corn starch the other day on that video. And that's why I do not like eating. I don't like eating cornstarch, like swallowing. Like, my bad. I don't like eating or swallowing on that cornstarch because my ass always get sick. And I got bad acid reflux. I take prescription acid acid reflux medicine. I take it real bad. I take Protonis. If you know what Protonis is, the strongest prescription for acid reflux. So. Wait a minute. But what's your epiphany this morning for um your, your life? I'm cleaning up. Getting ready my baby up. He's gonna climb down the stairs. He's acting crazy. He, I don't know if you can hear him, but he up. And he probably gonna be looking for his breakfast. So I'll talk to y'all later. I love you. But whatever in life 
you have going on changing. What's your epiphany for your life? What do you want for your life? If something is bothering you so bad, some had me bound, depressed. When I said, Lord, I spoke life into me at two something this morning. Life spoke to me at four something this morning. The Lord spoke to me. I kept getting up at six o'clock this morning. God just kept putting life in me because the life drained out of me. The last little bit of emotional life I had drained of me last night. I'm going to be real. But God know my purpose. God know my life. And a lot of these influencers, they're not going to tell you real life. But baby, we finna get it together. We're going to watch this glow up together. I love y'all. This is Coco B. So what's your opinion? What y'all doing this Saturday? Love y'all. Woo.